Hi, welcome to Cypress College. This is our sim lab, and in the, I'm Liz Putman, one of the nursing faculty here, and this is one of our first semester students, Bobby Winters. We're here at Mr. Bradycardia. We also have three other vital sim men, and a baby and an infant sim man. And by providing sim experiences or simulation experiences for students, we're able to teach them to look at patients um, before they're in the hospital setting where it's so much stress. So one of the things I'm teaching Bobby today is to assess a patient's lung sounds. So I have him listening with his stethoscope and we're comparing the um, anatomical structure, how far the, the chest is rising and expanding. He's listening to the sounds. While also doing this, he's noting the patient's neurologic response. Our patient, we have him programmed to change his um, eye twitching and our excuse me, eye, um, eye strength, his neurological response is becoming more and more lethargic. Therefore, we're wanting the students to observe that. The patient is also not breathing quite as de deeply and frequently. His breaths are less than 12 a minute at this point. And we're hoping that the students can pick up on these situations in a lab setting so that when they get to the clinical setting and are working on real patients, they'll know what to do. In addition to Bobby listening to the lungs, we're going to be asking him what kind of medications do you think we should be getting, what kind of nursing interventions should we do for this patient. So he's not breathing a while, what should we do now, and his eyes are becoming more lethargic. Right, so we might want to change his oxygen to a higher level, we'd also want to call the physician, maybe put his head of his bed up, those kind of things are what we're looking for him to do. I think we probably need some more um, aggressive therapies than just oxygen and putting the head of the bed up. Okay. Um, so depending on the situation, we're able to manipulate that. Bobby is a first semester student. So we're not going, we're going to be more focused on identifying breath sounds. In the fourth semester, we have them running what we call code blue in the hospital on the sim mans so that they have the actual experience of doing that before they're put in that clinical scenario. Um, our vital sim man, we can have him have trauma, trauma experiences. We can do any number of things with these patients. Um, it's really opened up a whole new avenue of teaching for us at the bedside. 